If your party doesn't look like this, don't even call me. Game of Thrones' final season premiere was one of the funniest and most heartwarming evenings of this month. We got to see the whole cast from all seven seasons goofing around on the bloody red carpet. Here are the most amusing and touching moments of the night. Watch out! High risk of experiencing a cuteness overload! The Thrones took over Rockefeller Plaza for the evening with a giant replica of the Iron Throne sitting on the usual spot of the Christmas tree. After an almost eight-year-long break, please welcome Joffrey! Jack Gleason did his best to keep his life low-key and under the radar, but we finally got a chance to see him at the party. And he almost hasn't changed a single bit. Well, except for that cute wind-styling hair and his slightly skewed tie. But we were super excited to see him. So nostalgic. Though, looks like not everybody was pleased to see him. Joffrey was the King's Landing's main pain in the ass and has remained that way to this day. Just look at that. Poor Joe Jonas. Been there, done that, bro. Perhaps Joe needs to hurry up with the wedding. Sophie shouldn't be left by herself for long. As Joe captioned the pic, I thought this dude was dead. Don't worry, Joe. Jacob Anderson, aka the Grey Worm, said on the red carpet that he'd love for his character to take down Joffrey. So you can sleep tight. And check out the suit! Joe rocked the night with a suit, accessorized with those leather straps on it. That's totally going into our collection of best menswear for 2019. Alongside Billy Porter's tuxedo dress and Jason Momoa's pink outfit. Speaking of Jason, these pictures make us feel awkward. Dane's ex and her current flame together? If I were John, I would get nervous. I mean, look at Momoa, who came in a super chic Oscars-inspired pink velvet jacket. He rocks this color! But it turns out that John didn't have much foresight either. Here are his two ladies, and oh god, do they have things to talk about. Never leave your ex and your new girlfriend in one room if one of them knows archery and the other one can set it all on fire. Kid Harrington took some pics but did not stop to give an interview. He was hurrying up for Saturday Night Live rehearsals as he's hosting the show on April 6th. Anyway, the premiere of the first episode started an hour later, with Sophie Turner addressing the public. If your phone should happen to ring during the show, your face would look lovely on my sister's wall. We take these matters seriously. You should as well. It was mission impossible for HBO to make thousands of people, including press, celebs, and guests, to swear they won't spill the beans before the due date. On the way out, they were given keep the secrets buttons with a pic of Varys on them. But all jokes aside, everybody was super emotional. Everybody in the cast says they've become a family, and it's heartbreaking to leave it all behind, especially the younger cast of the show. As Isaac Hempstead Wright noted, for them it's not just one more job that has now come to an end. They basically grew up on the set, and it's even hard to remember what their lives were like before it all started. Amelia also looked fantastic in a floating ice blue gown, with a top that said, Leave your door open for me. I might sleepwalk into your arms. Might need a new t-shirt. Never shutting the door at night since 4th of April 2019. We saw Missande, Sansa, and Arya rocking the red carpet. Perfect, as always. But we want to give credit to Gwendolyn Christie. She was beyond elegant and fresh. Brienne of Tarth has never looked more confident. Tormund and Jaime would definitely fight for her attention. Though Nikolai is definitely winning. Speaking of Christopher Hivyu, him and his wife, both redheaded, look absolutely stunning on the carpet. We also saw the boys' squad, including Euron Greyjoy, Samuel Tarly, Brandon Stark, and Gendry. Seriously, what was wrong with the ties that evening? Euron, aka Pilu Azbek, also had shared a couple of words on the red carpet, saying, It's about power, it's about sex, it's universal. It's the reason why we still play Shakespeare throughout the world. And he's right. Anyway, it was amazing to see the old school gang reunite, too. Here's Ned Stark and his BFF, Robert Baratheon. Robert is almost unrecognizable without his beard. Well, he may have shaved, but Varys had time to grow his hair back. The men rocked the night with their outfits. Just look at Davos, Tyrion, and Jaime. Peter Dinklage stayed somewhat in character by wearing a GOT-inspired shirt, and Nikolai Koster-Waldau seems to be copying Momoa's velvet trend. But one of the night's highlights was Oberyn getting revenge on the mountain. Pedro Pascal and Sir Gregor Clegane, because there's no way I will pronounce his name correctly, made that night. Just look how sweet Oberyn and Ilaria are together again. Still miss you, Oberyn. As much as Hodor, look at him, all fancy in this shirt with magnificent golden horse embroidery. Oh yeah, and here's Podrick. 
And of course, we know you are waiting for one more Stark Daughters sweet picture. Sophie and Maisie have been real BFF since the beginning of the show, and this picture definitely adds to the collection of their delightful moments. Almost made us cry. So, after a couple of interviews on the red carpet, posing in front of the camera, and viewing the lavish first episode, guests headed to the after party. Unfortunately, there was one major cast member missing from the celebration. Lena Headey, aka Cersei. Lena took to Instagram to reveal that she was sick. As she said, gutted, heartbroken, and f***ed off. Still doesn't cover my disappointment in not being able to travel to NYC for our final premiere tonight. But don't worry, we will soon see Cersei reunite with the whole team on HBO on April the 14th. Beside the show's cast, other bold-faced names attended the party, including Keegan-Michael Key, Ethan Hawke, Michelle Wolf, and James Franco. We are very jealous that these people have already gotten a chance to see the first episode. It was definitely a magnificent night. Fun, but with that dark cloud of sorrow lingering to remind us about the end of the show. Let us know in the comments below who you'll miss the most after the show ends. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe!